Hey, what's going on, everybody? Doing a Christmas Eve live stream here. So, uh, I was just thinking I was uh, working today at the shop and decided to start uh, messing with some of the bikes here. And uh, wanted to give you guys a uh, little walk around and start up and uh, kind of let you check out some of the bike collection. Uh, Along with this bike here, I actually have to do the first service on the uh, Tuono here. So I am uh, looking forward to uh, going through, doing all the maintenance. Might be doing uh, some tires. Uh, hey, what's going on, man? Uh, so, yeah, I want to rock out uh, some of this and, uh, you know, answer any questions that you guys might have. And uh, good evening. How you doing? Uh go and give you guys a little walk around to some of the other bikes merry christmas guys merry christmas so this is the 2015 i'm sorry 16 tuono factory okay so you guys have seen uh one of my raw videos before i did any editing merry christmas thank you thank you how are you guys doing uh yeah so i plan on uh doing some i don't know pre I don't know, I guess pretty big uh, jobs on a few of the bikes this year, and this is where I do it. I do it here in the uh, in my garage. We have a boat stored in here. Uh, a friend of mine's Focus stored in here, so I'm able to use what room and have great heat in here. Right now, here in Michigan, guys, um, this is the current situation. We have five inches of snow getting ready to dump on us, so... I really needed to get to uh, some motorcycle love here because I've been... Uh, uh, this bike stand, this thing is the Harbor Freight unit. So I just uh, updated it with the nice uh, wheel chalk on it. And uh, I'm currently getting ready to order a new one that I keep at the... Uh, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Frank939. I appreciate that. So... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Ducati V4. Yeah, so uh, uh, the the sound of this thing is uh, awesome on the Aprilia. I'm probably going to do a Bren tune. means they have this thing figured out now. And uh, just do some carbon fiber pieces. Hopefully Randy and Caleb, my buddies over at Belissi Moto, are going to be uh, hooking me up with some parts for this bike. So I think I'm going to do some rear sets. I'm going to update the uh, master cylinder on this bike too uh, so I can run the radial mount uh, RSV4 Brembo style. So uh, cams, what uh, can't we need? Uh, Jensen ZX12 cams no 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 cams on this bike anyway but i am doing cams on the s1000 and on the h2 uh but i'll give this thing a fire up i don't know what the uh sound quality is gonna be here but uh should be pretty decent Pretty rowdy. This is just a GP1R slip-on, so uh, I very, very much enjoy this. I'm going to uh, add some carbon fiber bits and pieces to this bike. I think the, any of the textured plastic pieces are going to be carbon fiber. And uh, I, I might even go as far as uh, maybe in the summer um, doing some different type of wheel on this bike. These are the cast wheels, the uh, RF gets a uh a forged wheel that is more red and anodized in color which is beautiful so might be even better looking than the orange so uh the tires i'm probably gonna go with the michelin rs's I, for all my road bikes these are 
pretty flat. This tire's junk. So uh, I'm probably going to go to the Michelin RSs. That's what I've been going to with all my road bikes, and I, I did a really good uh, comparison. Yo, what's going on, bike life? Uh, I did a pretty decent comparison of uh, the Bridgestone's RS10s versus the uh, uh, the RS Michelins, and I really, really like the Michelins. They gave me a lot more stability, in my opinion, over the uh, Bridgestone's, but that was on the... Uh, uh, twelve ninety nine. Also, uh, my carbon. Uh, you know I get buy from all over. Um, you know Shift Tech, uh, Guido there. He he does a lot of carbon fiber pieces. Uh, I can get stuff from Belissi Moto. Can get stuff from Moto Millions. Um, you know, and sometimes uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, what's that? Uh, chain and sprockets. Uh, okay, so this is the EK3D. Did it all in gold. 520 conversion. Uh, the lightweight steel sprocket in the rear. Uh, and I went to the one tooth up, actually, in the front. to the same gearing as the uh, RSV4 RF. So the 2.0 makes more torque than the RF, but obviously not the peak power. So uh, it had plenty of torque to pull a little bit taller gearing because I'd run out of gear at approximately 165 with this bike, and I kind of wanted it to pull harder. So um, you guys want to check out some of the other bikes? I'm going to try to keep this short. The uh, 1299 S1000 are in the house garage, but uh, out here... We have the storage garage, and it's a little messy. I still got to do some cleanup, but uh, uh, H2V4 Speciali. Uh, well, definitely uh, H2 for Smackdowns. Uh, V4 Speciali is going to fit right in with my 1299. Uh, where's the meth lab? Yeah, right. Uh yeah, yeah, the snow sucks, actually, so, uh, more the Super Duke or the Tuono, so the Super Duke, I love doing wheelies on and love being a hooligan, I love how it fits, I'm a taller guy, I'm six foot, I have long legs, so, uh, yeah, yeah, this, uh, this bike is awesome, and honestly, I love the way the Super Duke looks, too, so, yeah, happy holidays, guys. No need to shake your head. Come on. Oh, nice. Uh, how many bikes do we have currently? Well, um, we have a, a couple more, and we have one on order. But currently we're, I think, at like 16 right now. So, Donnie, hey, happy holidays. Donnie made it on the live stream. Mr. Brasco, he got himself a new H2. He's going to be working on slaying my H2 here. So uh, let's see what happens uh, soon. This is going to be uh, uh, a, a great time, that's for sure. So Donnie and I are definitely going to do some head-to-head -head racing. We have, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, guys love that Donnie's on here for sure. Awesome. I am freezing my ass off, though. Yeah, we got the X Diavel here. Donnie got to ride this. I still have to put the video out of uh, him rocking and rolling. Uh, yeah, congrats, Donnie, again. Uh, and then we have the Diavel Titanium. Uh, I kind of like the X Diavel more. I like the specialness of the Titanium because this is a number-plated bike. You know, there's only 200 or only 500 of these made. This is number 210 of 500, so... Which do you prefer over the next novel? I haven't got that. DZ. <laughs> 10R DZ. This is my first bike right here. This is a beautiful Speed Triple Special Edition. Uh, 
Yeah, the multi strata, honestly, it makes me sad. I don't ride this bike more often. So me and the missus, we got this bike to do more two up riding. And uh I absolutely love this bike. Um it was my first Ducati also. So I, I didn't realize uh what these bikes were all about until I got that uh multi. Unfortunately, I didn't know the new bike was coming out, so we end up with the 14 GT, so the Gran Turismo. Yeah, I love the KTM. Two up with five up. Yeah, that's uh, only the uh, only the woman, Fast Femme 24, gets to do that. Uh, to bit rate for the live stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I'll try to slow it down. Um, I don't know how to up it, so, unfortunately, this is all we got. The live streams are working out pretty good, but, obviously, if I move it too much, it's, uh, just not working out so well. Unfortunately, uh, uh, we can't make that any clear. Got the S1000 Single R, which last year I did a bunch of mods to it also, so, uh, you know, the, uh, um, did a bunch of carbon fiber pieces, the uh, whole front section, front fender, the gauge surround, carbon fiber, did full Acra exhaust on it, Bren Alpha Tune, Louis Moto seat cover. So I uh, did the chain guard and rear hugger and carbon fiber on it. And I'll probably end up doing possibly rear sets. This bike is actually for sale right now. I'm uh, thinking about getting rid of it and my 675R because I have outgrown this bike for the track in my opinion so this bike's only got like 2,000 miles on it with the full titanium aero system so but a great bike uh no no R1 uh we have an R1 back here but it's not mine 2013 R1 buddy of mine's here's the uh uh charcoal gray bike uh toward the back that that's the r1 that's a 13 r1 not uh not my bike though that's my cousin's bike he just stores it here um then here's a bike that i'm going to be modifying more soon too i bought this for christmas uh two years ago for my fiance so uh i'm gonna be uh hey what's going on 650 I didn't see that Eve was on here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing this bike up here soon. It's already got a lot of Rizoma bits and pieces. We did the Rizoma clip mounts on it. Uh, Rizoma fly screen. Beautiful Rizoma rear sets on it. And uh, Randy over at Belissi Moto is going to hook us up with the uh, full Zard uh, titanium exhaust for that bike. And then Bren also has tuning for that bike too, so... Yeah, yeah, 650. He here. Donnie's on. I think, uh, Ebe, I think, uh, 10RDZ is on here too. <laughs> yeah, where is Camp Easy? I didn't let anybody know I was even going to do this. So, uh, I just, uh, kind of wanted to hang out with some peeps and, uh, give you guys one hell of a Merry Christmas. So, here's another awesome track bike too. The Monster R. So. Hey, what's going on, Pistol Pete? How you doing, buddy? Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, it was a jet bike. Yeah, Brent Toon normally does uh, only the high-end Europeans. So they're doing Aprilias, BMWs, absolutely, and they're doing uh, Ducatis, too, so they can handle Ducatis also. So, uh, Favorite bike? <laughs> so I was uh, five seconds away from getting rid of this thing because it continues to try to kill me until I extended it. And uh, after I extended this bike, I absolutely adore it. So, my favorite SmackDown bike would uh, definitely be this bike. Uh, my favorite cruiser is going to be the X Diavel and or the Brute 
uh, Rocket 3 Roadster with the Carpenter 240 kit. Uh, uh, V-Twin? Uh, no, not V-Twin cru Cruiser. I mean, uh, here we go. V-Twin v Cruiser right here is the uh, um, Diavel Titanium and the X Diavel. That's as uh, cruiser as I get, I guess. But uh, we'll take a walk around. You guys are asking for the uh, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not really big into Harley's or any of that stuff. So uh, for the BMW R, I uh, personal message me. Um, th this bike is uh, gonna be a smoking deal. I think. I think I'm gonna try to off it. It's got seven thousand miles, brand new Michelin's on it, five twenty conversion. The list goes on and on with what I've done to this bike, and uh, I believe. The price is going to be seventy-eight hundred dollars for this bike. So, well, uh, yeah, yeah, it does make it impossible to have a favorite bike. That's for sure. So, this bike's pretty awesome. If it was warmer out, I'd do. Uh, uh, yeah, the twelve ninety nine is on the list of favorites for sure. For sure. Uh, I, I prefer the 1299 actually over uh, the S1000 Double R. The S1000 Double R is definitely easier bike to ride. Here's what actually a uh, little bit of history, guys. This is what started it all. This is a '68 Triumph Bonneville. Uh, my great uncle purchased this, uh, brand new, straight out of the military, and. Uh, he perished on this bike just a year after or less than a year after purchasing it and uh my uh what's that say oh, somebody books here uk they go for nine to ten yeah it's uh seventy eight hundred dollars us so i thought that was a uh, uh pretty decent price to get rid of it that's for sure so yeah, yeah. The anyways, the Triumph here, uh, '68 Bonneville. It was uh, T120R, uh, so it was a 654 speed bike. And uh, my father purchased it uh, a couple of years after my uh, great uncle perished on this bike. And uh, he worked at Triumph Detroit for many years as a mechanic, and uh, went to Bonneville raced not on this bike, but yeah, this uh, I. I used to ride on the fuel tank of this bike when it was had eight over uh front uh fork extensions as a 15 inch hog wheel extended swing arm a little bit i don't know it was just a you know 70s bike these guys did a lot of weird stuff to these bikes so yeah so uh my dad purchased this bike he was in the middle of updating it and making it the way he wanted it and uh, unfortunately uh last year december 18th we uh lost my father so now i own the bike and i'm actually gonna take all these pieces and parts this harley front end and all that stuff off the bike i'm gonna hang it and uh do a really nice memorial of it and uh go more stock on this bike so i think i wrote on that tank too Oh, yeah, yeah, you probably did, Uncle Scott. <laughs> What's going on? So my Uncle Scott jumped on the live stream. He's a big motorcycle fanatic also. It runs in our blood, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, hey, I'm sorry uh, for your loss also, your mother. So uh, it's been uh, some pretty rough times, Steve Thorson. So, but uh, we're rocking and rolling. We're doing okay. Uh, I'll do another live stream or another video one day of what's under that cover. There's a ton of history of uh, my father and I working together on that. So, uh, yeah, that'll that'll be pretty soon. Uh, awesome collection. Want to get the level on currently have to. Oh, have you know? I'm thinking about an MV Brutale, but uh, hey, uh, Merry Christmas also. Uh, what up? How's it going? Um, <laughs> God, it's hard to follow all these freaking comments. I don't know how 650 Eve does so good. Hey, what's up, Corey Pierce? That's my guy at uh, Sport Bike Track Gear here in Michigan. If you guys uh, 
looking to get any track riding equipment or whatever, he is the man to talk to for sure. So call up and uh, ask for Corey Pierce when you uh, do uh, sport bike track year. I live in Michigan, so that's why it's so cold and nasty. And I am freezing, so we're going to move into the other garage here and uh, let you guys check out the two of uh, my favorite bikes for sure, two of the fast bikes, fast bikes for the fast boys. Donnie Brasco is about to see what uh, makes him cringe every time he's on his BMW here. Brr, so cold. Man, no lights. Where the hell is the lights in here? Kill myself. It got dark since I went in the garage. There we go. Ugh. Let's throw some spikes on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's some guys that do go out to the lake and uh, they do some pretty awesome crap. But here you go, Donnie Brasco. Meet your maker once again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving him a hard time. Donnie and I went head to head, Mr. Brasco and I, and uh, waged war with uh, me on this uh, my 2016 S1000, Bren tuned, equipped, uh, full aero exhaust. And uh, let's just say Donnie and I were very, 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 very surprised at the outcome. And uh, that video will be coming soon. So. <laughs> yeah, the twelve ninety nine. Here you go. This bike, I had a blast on. People wouldn't think that uh, this would be the bike to go on track and only five hundred made or whatever. But uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, ten R Dizzy. Dizzy, you don't stand a chance, brother. I'm sorry. But either one of these bikes, your goose is cooked, as Mr. Donnie Brasco would say. <laughs> it's uh, this thing's awesome. Yeah, uh, Pete got to ride it. Yeah, yeah, Pistol Pete. I let him ride the twelve ninety nine. It's uh, it's a lot of bike, man. So, <laughs> DZ, I love you guys. Oh man, thank God there's some heat in here, cause it is freaking cold out there right now. Stunnerway? On what? Stunnerway isn't going to beat me. He might beat me around a track. But that old man's pretty rusty right now, so I don't know. You guys might be looking at a new commander-in-chief. The rest of the fast boys don't believe uh, that uh, I even beat Donnie, so i got to produce the video now. 79 degrees? Where the hell in Texas? Damn it. Ebe. Uh, uh, Gregory is going to give us a place to stay, uh, and we're going to Texas. <laughs> uh, too much eggnog. That's funny. Spiked eggnog, right? Mm. Have to roll. All right. Yeah, Corey, I'll, I'll, uh, give you a taste. The, uh, the BMW is not going to be, uh, Coda, yeah, yeah, we loved Coda, Eba and I, uh, we love to bring more people with us, but unfortunately it hasn't worked out for more people to go, so uh, more of us fast boys and whatever. Coda was awesome, though. Yeah, it's snowing here right now, John, John Jones, it's uh, freezing, and it's just uninhabitable, I don't even know why I stay here, but yeah, well... You guys, I've been live for quite a long time here. I don't want you guys to lose interest. Uh, you have any questions or anything while I'm uh, still up here, I'm getting ready to close this down and uh, uh, I guess go make snow angels. <laughs> uh, Panigale, yeah, it's a different bike. So uh, some of the other uh, fast boys rode it. Donnie, Slim Thug, they rode it. And the bike has a lot of feedback, right? Uh, um yeah it, it, it's difficult you know and if you don't hit the gears just right 
it uh, you'll lose to this guy right here. But uh, if you get everything right, it's very, very rewarding. You have the most people watching. No, don't close. <laughs> uh, okay, Eve. Well, it's already been rolling for stinking 25 minutes. So, uh, What's up, James in Virginia? Nice. Start up. Uh, what do you guys want to hear? I can fire either one of these bikes up quickly. Uh, I can't leave them running for any long uh, wheelie at high speeds. The Panigale. Uh, it does great, great, great wheelies. Uh, so does the S1000. So here, let's uh, let's fire the S1000 up. And give you guys kind of a uh, comparison of the S1000 versus what the 1299 sounds like. I'm gonna open up a door in here so, so we get the fumes out of here out of this uh garage here the bike hasn't been started in months the op 7 led headlights really uh kind of blind the camera hey what's going on from ireland holy moly yeah, I know. Well, I don't I normally start them in here, so Mr. 650 Eves asked for a startup. This bike will be on E85 next year with higher compression pistons and camshafts, so... Sorry about the headphone thing. Bike sounds pretty good. You can smell a dust burning off of it. <laughs> and, uh... Okay, 1199R. Yeah, that thing's, uh, yeah, it's definitely more of a handful. Uh, but, it, it, like I said, it's very rewarding. Rewarding. Buying the V4. Uh, Jesus, come on. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I keep them all at my home. So we have a big uh, 40 by 70 uh, pole barn that's uh, half and half. So, yeah, Honda uh, has MotoGP V4 uh, experience for sure. There we go. We'll do a little fire up of the uh, 1000 for sure. Uh, the V4 is just going to be cosmetic. There's not going to be a whole lot available, so. Yeah, my insurance is out of control. I have a, not such a great driving record either. Uh, well, neither of them are limited. They just run out of gear because they're both uh, unlocked. They're both de-restricted by Bren tuning. 
So uh, the restriction is null and void. It doesn't, uh, uh, you know, doesn't uh, have anything. Uh, brother has a twelve nine nine for Ducati Detroit. Yeah, I'm a huge uh, fan of theirs, and uh, I've purchased six bikes from them. So, uh, yeah, you can ask uh, what I do for a living, uh, SoCal. Uh, I am a late model Ford diesel mechanic. So here in Michigan, Northeast, we uh, have a ton of super duties around here, and I grew up with them. Uh, I used to work at a speed shop, uh, rocked and rolled with, uh, you know, doing uh, cosmetic stuff, uh, superchargers, upgrades on late model Fords and GMs, and always worked on diesels and power strokes and stuff. So that's what I do for a living now is uh, work full-time on uh, for myself working on diesels. Try to scroll back through some of these comments I might have missed. Oh, thank you, Mr. Desmo. Yeah, that bike does sound great. Thank you. Alex Brazier, thank you. I appreciate that. Same to Sean Bowling. SP2. Uh, Mr. 650E might have something uh, in store for you guys if you keep up with his Patreon uh, bike build series. Uh, series number three might have something to do with the Honda. Uh, stay tuned and uh, follow his channel for that one. So, oh yeah, cat food. Damn it! Yeah, I am out of cat food, and that's about all I can afford to uh, uh, do. I got to figure out how to set up live stream or uh, super chat. I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas to. All of you also, uh, Gary, uh, LaPointe, and your family, Merry Christmas. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, yeah, no problem, no problem. What's your favorite bike to ride? Uh, 1299 Superbike, uh, Smackdown Bike H2, now that's extended. X Diavel S for cruising. Uh, naked bikes, I love my Aprilia. On S1000RR, it uh, go to 650 Ebe's uh, Dino Shootout videos that him and I did together, and you will see that I believe it made 192 or 194 horse and uh, 88 foot pounds. So, uh, of a ZZR 1400, what the hell is a ZZR? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what that bike is. I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you for all the Merry Christmas. Uh, how many bikes and which have you owned? Well, all the ones you see currently. So I started out with that S1000. I've had a couple of bikes I didn't have legal for the road uh, back years ago. A Canatuna 1100 that I rode one time down the road. Uh, a CB125 1978 that I restored and sold. Uh, but other than that, I didn't really get into bikes until later because I knew, uh, um, yeah, retro styled stuff. So, uh, CB1000R, uh, I believe is one of my favorites of any of the Japanese nakeds for sure. That bike is amazing looking. I saw it at the, uh, New York motorcycle show, the IMS show, single sided swing arm. Uh, it's a great looking bike. I can't wait to possibly jump on one. Uh, mountain interest in the Cleveland Fast Boys are getting especially Eb, Donnie, R1, Kelly, etc. You know, I followed those guys and I looked up to them uh, for a while. I didn't think that I would actually end up becoming a Cleveland Fast Boy, but uh, Mr. Eb is so down to earth and, uh, you know, uh, just uh, really, really super dude. That uh, when I threw him a Facebook uh, message that he came out to check out what I did over here. And, uh, you know, 
uh, two ono or us before you guys you, you really need to ride each um it all depends i'd love to have a rsv4 no changes really except for in that new super comp or sport comp whatever that new badass one with the winglets uh, a little bit more power different internal engine changes and stuff to make a little bit more than 215 or 218 horse the tuono is uh 2017 made a lot of changes so you're gonna have to check them out they're both great 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 bikes um uh, so who is the quickest, you or Eeb? Well, we're going to see when we put a 40-pound uh, vest on. So, uh, yeah, Eeb, right away. Me. I try to be nice here. No, I, whatever. Whatever. I slaughter Eeb. He knows that in SmackDowns. So, uh, new Jixer will beat the de-restricted de by Brox. I, I, that's going to be a sweet bike. I hope Stunnerway still gets a Jixer because... Uh, the BMW has really become a me too bike, right? So one of your friends have it. Um, oh, ZZR 14 is the ZX 14. Duh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. ZX 12. Okay. Opinion on R1. I love the R1. The only R1 I've ever rode is, uh, Mr. Uh, Ebe's, uh, R1M. That bike was, uh, just a blast to ride. And I, I felt riding at the sensation that I gave you that was just as fast as uh, the S1000, you know. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I guess all-out performance, it's not quite as fast. But it's not all about having the most amount of horsepower. That bike was a blast to ride for sure. We got heat and lighting all set up in here, so this is my little workshop for working on the bikes when uh, I can get away and I have enough energy to still do this. Is he calling me out? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, from London. Yep, ZZR 1400 is the same as, okay, yeah, like MT10, MT9. All right, I get it. I, I haven't uh, rode a ZX14 yet, so JYJ uh slim thug he's uh if he keeps his bike long enough i'm gonna try to ride it so uh, i think i'm trying to get the guys more yeah yeah it's always really hard to get everybody's schedules together for all the cleveland fast boys to be to be together I think uh, Eve has found out that I make the most amount of time to travel, which isn't always in the cards for other people with families and other things going on. But uh, I would love for the Cleveland Fast Boys to get together more often. So especially after the live stream that we watched last night of uh, Eve's unveiling Donnie's new bike. So uh, what's the foot pound of torque? Okay, so the foot pound of torque actually uh, mirrored at a different RPM what the H2 did 100 foot pounds to the tire on a Dino Jet 250. So that's what the 1299 put down. Track day at Barber? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Corey, I'll let you know. We'll keep in touch. And uh, we did Barber this year. Uh, Ebe hasn't rode on Barber yet. I think it's uh, a higher level of fun than the uh, than Coda even. Yes, if he wears the vest. <laughs> keep on hearing about this vest. Run what you brung. How about that, Ebe? <laughs> uh for the first track day in march we will okay all right we'll try that then tail of dragon uh so cost me an extra 250 bucks wow that sucks uh meeting up with rj Royal Jordanian. That'd be cool if we could meet up with him, Ebe. Uh Yeah, I service my own bikes. I'm actually pulled this up here to do its uh, first service, do an oil change, uh, clean the chain, and uh, I'm probably going to do the LED headlamps in it while it's up here too. 
Uh, we have a few inches here. A bunch of it melted away, but now it's going to be sub uh, zero. So I don't do a real well with uh, uh, like uh, high end road racing type stuff. So uh, Kashak and some of these beautiful roads that Eve takes me down and stuff. I am almost blind in one eye, so I don't have any depth perception. So uh, I, I have a uh, hell of a time uh, determining when corners are coming. At a track, I can memorize the track. I do much better. But roads I don't know is very, very difficult for me. So Yeah, there's going to be so much to do if, uh, if we make it over to Europe, that's for sure. Worth riding the tail. Uh, weekday. Sweet. Uh, best sport tires are definitely the uh, Pirelli Corsa SPs or whatever uh, that come factory on the, uh, I think it came, this is a Pirelli on this bike, uh, Super Corsa, and uh, my Ducatis. So, uh, and then when I replace them because they're so expensive and they wear out so quickly, I go to a Michelin uh, RS. So, yeah, I go to uh, Lake Michigan. We go out there for lunch sometimes. Me and the missus will cruise all the way from uh, Southeast Michigan all the way over to Silver Lake for lunch sometimes. And then we have a side by side. We try to make it out to the dunes a couple times a year, which has been very difficult for us lately. So uh, RSV4, RF 2018. Uh, with wings, I think it's a beautiful bike, you know, uh, H2SXSE. Yeah, so I checked that bike out at the IMS show, and I'm a huge fan of that bike. Didn't think I was going to be, but I am. Uh, Yeah, yeah, Grattan and Gingerman are uh, some great, uh, great tracks for sure. <laughs> How much was the bike lift? Uh, I got it on sale at Harbor Freight for a few hundred dollars, and I added a couple hundred dollars worth of the wheel chalk and stuff on it. But unfortunately, the hydraulic lift took a crap on it, so I'm going to upgrade to a... Uh, a pneumatic, uh, you know, professional style bike lift instead of the hobbyist one here. I'll still keep this one and repair it, but I want to do a better one. Nice, yeah. Panigale R's are a very, very special bike. So, uh, lightweight crankshaft, titanium connecting rods, uh, more aggressive camshaft profiles. People, uh, uh, underestimate the Panigale R, that's for sure. Yeah, 44 teeth, that'd be freaking awesome. Those guys are pretty awesome. Yeah, it's uh, snowing like crazy here. You're in Toledo, so you're right in between Eve and I. Yeah, yeah, he does like his privacy. Nobody even knows what RJ even looks like, so... Getting Super Duke 1290R17. No, I have the 16 Special Edition. So uh, I will not be getting uh, another new Super Duke. Hey, yeah, Eve likes the RS10s. I chewed those things up and spit them out. And, yeah, the Michelins look like a Shinko. Dickhead. Thanks a lot, Eve. <laughs> the oil thing to unscrew that's funny uh yeah yeah we watched him do a uh, full-blown service on uh giveaway bike <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> hmm. so uh yeah he he brushes his teeth at least four to seven or 12 times a day so he's always smiling so it's very easy to do they're always in the brush position From Silver Beach. Oh, okay, cool, cool. 
Race Tech RR. Yeah, yeah, those are, you know, I, I like the factory Metzlers that came on my uh, uh, um, Speed Triple. I, I really did enjoy those tires quite a bit. Yeah, so the Austin Race and Slip-On, uh, I actually had to modify this to work on this bike because it's a little bit larger than uh, what is actually supposed to come on the Tuono because it came off a 650 Ebe's uh, RSV4 RF. So, uh, yeah, the bike is, uh, is awesome. You know, I, I love the exhaust note for sure. Uh, check out Max Risk channel. I've already raced them a handful of times. The H2 versus S1000 and uh, the S1000 versus 1299. I had to teach him the art of uh, smackdowns because Max Risk is more of a country road guy. Tears it up also. Uh, North Carolina. What up, Bobby? How's it going, man? How do I feel about the FZ10? I cannot wait to ride 650 Ebe's uh, loaner bike. Um, I keep on hearing so many good things. Uh, Motorcycle Magazine just did a review on the Nakeds again, and uh, they loved it. Yeah, Pilot Power RSs are, uh, are are freaking awesome. You have a Brutale. That's an awesome bike. I wish there was a closer dealer. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Bobby. Let's do one more startup. I fired up the uh, uh, S1000 and the Panigale for you guys. Any of you guys with uh, headphones on, pull them out, turn them down. Before I blow out your eardrums. Sorry, guys. I warned you. I let you know I was going to do another startup. means the bike's warmed up. I'll have to fire it up again to get the oil drained out of it here, uh, get it good and warm again. But uh, I'm going to dismantle. I'm going to do the Op 7 LED headlamps in this bike, so a lot of the bike has to come apart for uh, doing the LED conversion. I want to do the larger uh, uh, Pug or P Puge, Puge, whatever, uh, fly screen on the bike. So, and uh, obviously tinted, and uh, we're going to update it a little bit. So, I'm not buying the new one, so I, I'd lose my ass by getting rid of this thing and, uh, you know, uh, doing the new one. Merry Christmas before special Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. I have my deposit down on the V4 bike, so uh, um, hopefully all my finances come together and I do the... Uh, do the speciality and don't have any buyer's regrets, which I'm sure I won't. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You, any of you guys have any uh, final questions or uh, anything you want answered about uh, tech questions I might know, might be able to help you out with, opinions, uh, whatever, either about any of the bikes I own or any of the ones I might be uh, well versed with. Should I do a startup now? <laughs> Just kidding. Flash tuning uh, with Power Commander. So if you want to be able to have control of your fuel, 
and make minor adjustments based on uh, your area, um, your specific gravity and your uh, uh, altitude and stuff, um, then do a power commander on top of it if you're well versed with doing some tuning yourself. Uh, if not, get rid of the secondary piggyback module. It's one more thing to fail uh, and just have somebody handle all the flash tuning because the flash tuning can handle spark, air fuel ratio, quick shifter adjustments, uh, you know, uh, throttle. Uh, pedal following or throttle following with throttle by wire bikes so uh i i enjoy a flash tuning even though i can do some tuning myself so uh rapid bike is pretty good uh it's not exactly ecu it's a piggyback unit like i was just talking about but again it's something else that can fail so factory ECUs unless you brick it and screw it up during flashing because of low voltage or somebody writing you a, a corrupt tune file uh, would uh, you know definitely cause some issues but uh, diesel vids I don't know whether I want to mix too much diesel stuff in with my motorcycle hobby stuff the diesel stuff is my job even though I uh, you know even though I love it uh, uh, which BMW, Steve Thorson? Which which one are you asking? Which one's fast? Oh, my favorite sound is uh, the the Aprilia for sure. The V4 is very comfortable. It's wider. It's not as skinny as uh, the Aprilia, in my opinion. But the Aprilia, Aprilia, you sit up on the bike a hell of a lot more than you do the V4 bike. So. Uh, it doesn't come with Rizoma goodies. Uh, it, it comes with uh, CNC parts. So Ducati works hand-in-hand uh, -hand with CNC products. And so the rear sets and levers and stuff will probably be from CNC on the Speciale. Uh, what's my take on the first series of V4? Uh, if you're talking about the uh, Ducatis, I mean, they, they have a lot of experience in MotoGP, so I am not afraid to purchase uh, one of the very first V4s. 1199 wasn't uh, a mess when it came out, and that was an all-new bike, all-new motor, so I'm not afraid of uh, the Speciale. MV F4. So I rode the F4RR. Uh, 2013 model before I bought my 1199S Tricolori, and I did not care for it. I love the way it looked. I love the way it sounded with those, uh, you know, tuning trumpets out the back under the seat, but um, it wasn't enough for me. It was gutless down low, uh, and it, I just wasn't very impressed with it, with the uh, power. Mac Daddy Moto, hey, how's it going, man? Merry Christmas to you, too. Yeah, I guess I could make a separate channel for the diesel stuff. Oh, the one I'm selling? Yeah, the single R is very fast. Um, I, I haven't had it on the dyno, but, you know, like I said, full system, 520 conversion. The only thing it's missing is forged wheels, honestly, or a BST wheel. So uh, my favorite brand, I don't have a favorite brand. You know, all the bikes I've had so far are definitely quality. I'm a Ducati fanboy, but that doesn't make me make that my favorite if i had more accessibility to dealerships i'd probably have more aprilias you know so it's accessibility and the support i've i've had great support with triumph uh ducati and bmw so those are the bikes i really really like a lot two stroke bikes huh two stroke two poke bikes i am about to take delivery of a 70 four ninja h2 750 triple two stroke so uh i think it's cool i won't go very far on it uh, but uh it, it'll look awesome next to the modern h2 and uh just be something cool to have so off to sleep okay george good night go to sleep <laughs> uh horsepower gains from the cam swap on the s1000 and the H2. H2, I'm doing intercooler and uh, supercharger gears, so I'll probably go from uh, 
236 at the tire to in the 270s, 280 range on the H2 on pump gas, and then S1000s getting pistons also on E85. So I'm doing more to that, Mr. Lopez. And uh, that bike I'd love to see like 210 to 218. Tuono or Super Duke? Do you have a, a companion, somebody who rides with you? Because uh, the Tuono is not very comfortable for uh, rider pillion. Super Duke is. You like wheelies? Super Duke's all all about wheelies. Uh, it's a little bit more unstable in the head. The rake is uh, real short. Doesn't have a lot of caster. Uh, in the triple trees, so it's a little unstable, needs a better steering stabilizer. This bike is way better planted. Uh, the sound is way more intoxicating. I, I normally choose the Aprilia over the Super Duke myself. Uh, Desmo Sedici? Um, yeah, I don't know. Not not really. No, I don't think I would get into a Desmo Sedici. As much as that's a really, really cool bike, I'm just... Uh, not really into the Desmo that much. Uh, the baffle in Austin Racing, I've always had it out of this bike, but there is a baffle that does slide in there. There is a quiet core. Um, I believe there are some screws either here on the outside or, yeah, I think right inside here you can pull it out and uh, slide in. It's baffle that slides Pretty far into the pipe. I think I have it laying around here somewhere. Uh, uh, these are H2 parts. Oh no, these are S1000 parts, H2 parts. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, is in here. I don't know, I have a baffle laying around for that, and uh, I don't think it's very hard to put in. I would never put a baffle in it, though it looks too great without it. it sounds too great without it, I mean. Yeah, I'll be doing some more videos. Actually, when the bike was still short wheelbase, me and the missus, we uh, did a video on it, and uh, she raced me on my S1000. Uh, I drive a Super Duke, or uh, Super Duke, I drive a Super Duty, uh, that's uh, Rohit, I can't pronounce your last name, I'm sorry buddy, but uh, anyways, uh, you know, I, uh, I drive a Super Duty every day, it's a 2016 Platinum with the 6.7 power stroke, and I used to have a Shelby GT500, I just sold that. And uh, I'm getting back in my supercharged Lincoln Mark 8 that I built years ago, and I'm going to be putting that car back together for a summer driver. Best upgrades for the new R1 Superbikes Unlimited Flash, lightweight wheels, uh, Sprint Filter, Brock's full system, or Two Brothers full system. Actually, not, not full system if it's a R1M because uh, the head pipe is titanium on that bike, so. Uh, Don, Mario, no, I am not gay. Smaller bikes, so when you're doing track days and stuff, I very, very much uh, like the smaller bikes to definitely learn on. Uh, I love uh, um, yeah, I, I really, really love uh, my Triumph 675R. That, that bike, I wouldn't uh, be as far as I am with doing track days and my body position and uh, trail braking and the skills of uh, the art form of doing track days, right, uh, without uh, learning what to do on the 675 on a smaller bike. <laughs> I, I don't know where she's at. Jess is in the house.
Yeah, that dude was something else, wasn't he? Oh, maybe he was interested in me. Um, I, I guess you can you can ask. You know, the worst that somebody's gonna say is no, if he's into dudes. Um, you know, more power to him. But I'm not so much into dudes like that Don guy is. R1M is an awesome bike. I can't wait to. I'd love to swap and do a uh, track day on that bike, Eve. At least a few laps. I know I wanted to let you ride the 1299, and you were afraid that you might go out and buy one uh, at Coda. But I, you know, I'm need a 2000 cc bike. Very cool. I have a 2300cc bike, if that makes any difference. The Rocket 3 Roadster is 2300ccs. Favorite bike for my nakeds uh, is this bike right here, the Tuono Factory. Full Olin suspension, Brembo brakes, ferocious sound. Um, and then for super bikes, my 1299 is still my favorite. Smackdown bike, H2 obviously, cruiser bike, X Diablo S, or the Rocket. Um, what do you guys prefer watching uh, with some of the content I provide? Do you guys like the more informative? Uh, you know, this is why I started out as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, but that's an impossible YouTube name to find, so we changed it to Five Up. But uh, do you guys enjoy the informative? If I start doing how-to videos and uh, showing you the wrenching I do on my own bikes with upgrades and stuff and explaining the technical terms and stuff, or do you like seeing me put the smack down and uh, ride like a hooligan with... Uh, peeps like Ebe and, uh, you know, 650, and, uh, yes, 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 okay, 100%, all right, both, yeah, I'm gonna try keeping it both, you know, I'm gonna try to find that fine line, I have a video coming out that's kind of controversial, uh, you know, some people say I have no business doing this sort of thing, but, uh, you know, I don't know, I really, uh, I really like getting crazy, you know. I I love the mechanics. I love the te technical part. I love the engineering of uh, these things and explaining it and understanding it and helping other, uh, you know, of you guys and the family understand it also. Uh, <laughs> make you do the wrenching, <laughs> okay? I, I wish I I'm uh, been trying to talk him into. Uh, doing the bike build series with them, but it's just not convenient with where we're located. We're four hours away from each other, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I would like to do something more like that, but that would be uh, our uh, transition into stuff that's more like 44 Teeth-ish, like in the, uh, you know, Ebe and Steve show, so. Yeah, yeah, he might teach me a couple of things. He's learning a hell of a lot from Zach at uh, Sills. So because my BMW is still under warranty, Zach is going to be doing the work on my BMW. So a very uh, highly trusted uh, technician, and that's coming from another technician. So <laughs> uh, 650 is a much better enter entertainer than I am. So... Uh, you know, we all have our strong suits, that's for sure. Eeb, how long, Eeb, how long have uh, we known each other now? Has it been uh, over a year now, I think? Two years, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, because... Uh, one of the first videos, I was uh, 32 years old, so which was stated on the video. So Connecticut, is, uh, I'm sure on the East Coast there's some really, really nice riding. We plan on coming back to uh, uh, BMW of uh, Manhattan 
and doing a ride up in, uh, I think, on northern New York or whatever. So, uh, yeah, that might be – Yeah, I, I just wish I was retired and I could do this full time. You know, but I got to make the bills, so I have to work really, really hard to keep up with these bike payments and such. Yeah, I would love to do a build series with Eve. I don't have the subscribers or the base to do a build series and actually be able to do a uh, bike giveaway to my supporters. Eve has worked many years to be able to gain that. So if we did it, I would have to do it with him. You know, there's no way I could do it on my own. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, one of the first videos was at BMW Detroit when Jess was working there. Uh, Atlanta in March. Yes, I plan on going there, and we're going to meet up finally. We'll do it with Dan. And uh, hopefully Chase, those two guys I look up to huge also. So uh, I'd like to teach them how to wheelie. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Defobra. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I met you at New York, Motor C uh, si New York City Motorcycle Show last year with uh, Mike Clutch first. So you're retired, Steve? Okay. Yeah, Steve, you and I, I think, have talked quite a few times, I think, on social media here. Big uh, in the bikes. Uh, yeah, it would be boring, Eve. That's for sure. Uh, Jess is uh, John Jones. Jessica, uh, Fast Femme 24. She is a... Uh, uh, parts manager at Triumph Detroit here in Michigan. Cryptocurrencies. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh, Esco, we will be letting a lot of people know, and Eve will be doing a lot of social media, Instagram and stuff, and letting you guys know where we're going to be at uh, long before um, we end up making it to these places. So, <laughs> what what death trap bike the H two you think for Dan? <laughs> Work hard, slay hard, absolutely. Yeah, everybody keeps on talking about this Bitcoin thing. Is that a Canadian thing or what? Oh, Dan's uh, custom bike build that he's doing? Okay. Internet has its own currency. Well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> wow, interesting. Very interesting. Hey, what's going on? Alf uh, Alfred. Alfredo from L.A. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go in and uh, massage my missus' back. Uh, uh, some of you don't believe that uh, I have a girl, so I guess I'll have to produce that video here soon. Uh it's going to be triple X rated, and it's going to show a lot of fake boobies. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Come on, more tasteful than that. So, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
Thank you. Build series would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can bolt on these bikes, right? But I have some different ideas. I'm not afraid to uh, tear into the uh, more mechanical part of it, but cosmetic stuff is also great. These bikes come so uh, so well equipped, you know, right from the factory. And that's one of the reasons why I really got into motorcycles, because I started noticing, uh, you know, all these pieces and parts and stuff that you get right from the factory which meant I wouldn't have to wrench on my motorcycles all the time because that's what I do is wrench all day. Uh, uh, the BMW for sale? Uh, Steve, aren't, are you on my Facebook? Just look me up, uh, Steve Turner on Facebook, and uh, message me on there. Yeah. Yeah, I massage her like she's my Panigale. Well, the, actually, uh, fun fact is uh, because one person only has so much credit, uh, the Panigale is actually hers. So she allows me to ride it, So, uh, or vice versa. Um, uh, okay, yeah, I don't know. You could take that a lot of different ways. <laughs> Best bike in its stock spec? Alex, uh, what... What type of riding are you talking? Cruiser, super naked, uh, you know, all out performance of crazy horsepower bike or what? I mean, stock spec, anything that comes with, uh, you know, Brembo brakes. Uh, sport bike, okay, so full-on sport bike. You can't go wrong with any of the awesome Europeans. The Japanese bikes are coming up very, very close and beating some of the high-end Europeans now, in my opinion. Um, I mean, the R1M comes with some great pieces and parts, even though it doesn't come with the Brembo brakes. Um, anything that has a TTX, uh, Showa, uh, Olin's, you know, suspension. It uh, depends on what type of riding you're going to do. BMW has a great uh, fully active uh, suspension. Ducati has a great active suspension. So. SP2? Yeah, I, I'd love to ride one of those bikes for sure. I don't know whether I'd ever own one, but uh, I typically... Uh, end up purchasing what I end up test riding, as you guys had seen in some of Eve's stuff. So, well, I'm going to get off the horn here, guys. Merry Christmas. Uh, Happy New Year. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have a video out for you guys uh, edited of S1000 versus ZX10 uh, before the New Year. So I'm actually going to go inside and continue working on that video now. So thanks very much for viewing, and... Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with Five Up. Thanks, guys.